Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like this lot of this combination. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed them. I, I didn't. No, I, I know. Don't worry about it. I just... I'm, I must not be making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Don't bother me. I'm here on official Sith business. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you?
whatever you want. Have you come here? I'm going to... Kazakh is not for everyone. It requires both nerve and skill. Perhaps you should practice before risking your credits against such a skilled player as myself. <laughs> Unless you like losing. If you ever wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taris, you know where to find me. Pazak is not for... Questions? <laughs> I don't come here. If you have... I saw your match against Niklos, if you could even call it that. You aren't much of a Pazak player, are you? I saw your match against Niklos. Pazak is not for it. Confidence is inspired. But luck is no substitute for skill in Pazak. If you are foolish enough to play me again, I won't repeat the mistake of underestimating you. I'm going to enjoy relieving you. Thank you. 
Bazak is not for everyone. It Con Bazak is not for everyone. If you ever wait. I saw your match against Niklos. Bazak is not for everyone. Confident. I saw your match against Niklos. You know, you're my kind of guy, rich and handsome, just the way I like them. Why don't we slip away to the tap room together? The bartender can mix us up something special for only 20 credits. If you play your cards right, Pazak might not be the only game you get lucky at tonight. Really? You must not be- Suddenly I find you very boring. Maybe- Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer first class with the Sith Occupation Force. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taris can't stand us Sith. They can make this job pretty lonely. That's true. Our people don't appreciate what we've done for them. We could have slapped a curfew on this whole planet, but we didn't. You know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know we have to make the best of things? Exactly, it's all about attitude. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I try to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up. That's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. 
It's good to talk about this stuff. It gets pretty lonely up at the military base. I have to get going soon. I've got a ship to the military base. But some of us junior Sith officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show you where it is on your map. Don't be late. We're starting right after our ship's end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. Wow, are you really a noble? You must be pretty rich, right? Is your family important? I can trace my lineage back five generations to one of the founding houses of Terrace. In fact... Oh, we seem to have some unexpected company, my darling. Oh, don't pay attention to him. He's just some Pazak player I met. He's not an actual noble like you. Come on, sweetie. Let's go back to your mansion. It's a good thing a few of the Sith come in here to relax. No hard feelings, my good man. But I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this establishment as it is. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. I'd guess you've experienced many lonely evenings. Something I'm hoping to avoid tonight. Yeah, that quarantine must be tough. You should try and make the best of it and order yourself some food. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Careful what you say. I get the feeling this spoiled brat can cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. It's too late for apologies. Daddy's going to hear about this. You'll lose your job for sure. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start. So quit complaining and just watch the view screen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gurlon Twofinger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Dead-Eyed Duncan. To nobody's great surprise, Dead Eye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Girl on Two Fingers. Shaun Nenong, 
Kavagol Pamulzli, Kumanabak Mulira, Junayun Tunjitsi, Aipatwana, Kavagol Pamulzli, Kumana. Vibro blades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Chiyoka Kol Mulira, Kirkunjo Peshok, Noba Muliraji, Junayun Turanchi, Aipatia. Ula <laughs> This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the Air Spire. Gino Molera, King Pajak, Slim of Puiguana. Tawana Rota, a yot Tawa. Thank you, Dora, my images, Cochise, Canai, oh, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Jedi Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger!
said that Selka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Taris. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. The terrible affliction has plagued Taris for many generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Taris's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the rat ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Please, don't say that! If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Of course. Just step over here and I'll show you what I have in stock. My prices are very reasonable. Just what I need to keep this facility operating. I've got an offer for you, you might want to hear. Now, don't be an idiot. Just listen to me for one minute, and you won't be sorry. David Kang wants the cure, and you'd be smart to give it to him. Oh, come on. Everybody knows who David Kang is. He's the big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taris. Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Helping people is all well and good, but you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits for the cure. More than Zelka could ever afford. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rat Ghoul Serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth.
Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits. A down payment. That's your price in time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but we can just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davin, there's nothing else you can do. I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You should do the same! Thank <laughs> you. 